Hello. Today we will review the overhang prevention design constraint in Generate. This constraint can be useful when optimizing parts for additive manufacturing and support material is undesirable. The final result of this tutorial is shown here in Generate. The design space is a simple rectangular volume with three holes for pin connections. Let's create a new project and get started. Here we are inside of a new Generate project. Our first task is to create the overhang prevention constraint. Before applying overhang prevention to our part, it is helpful to determine the build direction. In this optimization, the build direction is aligned with the z-axis. This implies that we should select any face of the design space that is normal or perpendicular to the z-axis. Now we can create the overhang prevention constraint. You can see a black vector has been added to the 3D viewer indicating in which axis overhangs will be prevented. Next, we need to input the boundary conditions. If you are unfamiliar with boundary conditions, please watch our Generate Overview video, or in future videos, we will cover them in detail. Now we are ready to run our optimization. Generate has finished optimizing our part. With overhang prevention enabled, Generate produces a final result without overhangs. If we compare this to an optimization without overhang prevention applied, several overhangs are present. The overhang prevention design constraint currently has one input parameter, accessed by clicking the pencil icon. This input is called ignore keep ins. First, let's understand what is meant by keep in. In generate, a keep in is a face group with an offset thickness applied. This guarantees material will be present offset from the selected faces of the design space. If we enable this parameter and run another optimization, you can see any overhangs created solely by keep-in regions will not be prevented. Any geometry created by the optimization process will still have the overhang prevention design constraint applied. This is helpful when trying to eliminate overhangs in the potentially complex optimization geometry. This concludes the tutorial on overhang prevention. Good luck with your optimizations.